Tonight, Sacramento police are searching for answers after two men were shot and killed in Natomas. Here's what we know right now. The shooting happened on the 2500 block of Amelia Earhart Avenue just before 3.30 this morning. When police arrived, they found both men with life-threatening injuries. The two died there at the scene. Right now, it's unclear what led up to the shooting and no arrests have been made. Tonight, family and friends are coming together to remember one of the victims. KCRE 3's Brittany Hope is live in Natomas where a vigil is happening for a man widely known as DJ Geo. Brittany, I know you've been talking to his family members tonight. What are they saying? So, I mean, family and friends have been here since earlier this evening and earlier there was more than 100 people here from across our community who were honoring him. I want to show you what's happening now. We're keeping a bit of a distance for this live shot just to give them some privacy, but you can see candles and folks just hugging and this has been the scene all night. They tell us they can't believe someone so full of life has had his life taken so soon. Candles spelling out his name, Giovanni Isidro Razo. Pisano. His family tells KCRA 3 he was shot and killed doors down from their Natomas home early this morning. He wanted to live here because he wanted to be safe. He said it was safer here. We moved here because it was safer. And now he's gone. My son is gone. My son is gone. Right here. Last night I ran and saw him here. DJ Gio was known to many in Sacramento. DJs called him Young Phenom. He put on that jersey. He had that jersey of his family stamped on his back. He said, I'm going to be a winner. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to be the one that goes for it. And he went for it. And watching the rock roll. Rolling loud, over 20, 30,000 people, and all my, and everybody as a community, we all watch and love him. His mother helped him achieve that dream when he was a little boy. And he said, Mom, what would have happened if when I asked you to buy me my DJ equipment, you would have said no? Huh. <laughs> I said, Son, I would have never said no to you. This is your dream. <laughs> and I will do anything to make your dream happen. But I didn't have to, he made it happen all on his own. His brother says he was all about his family. That's my baby brother. Everything we did, we did together growing up. He didn't hang out with his friends, he hung out with his older brother. You know that, Sonny? You know what time it is, Papa? Everywhere we went. You know, another young life in Sacramento gone too soon due to gun violence in Sacramento history. I love you. Rest in peace. Tonight, we are still waiting for the Sacramento County Coroner's Office to release the name of the second victim. Sacramento police tell KCRA they are investigating what led up to this and the circumstances around this shooting. We're live in Natomas, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News.